Preserving the past, tonight a committee in the Star City is raising money to safeguard Roanoke's black history. WFXR's Rianne Lowndes toured local historical sites alongside the committee today. She joins us live in studio tonight for more on the plan. So Rianne, in, in, un, understand that this is a, a two-part project. That's right, Amanda. This started with Roanoke Hidden Histories, a project led by the Harrison Museum and a committee run by Roanoke Vice Mayor Trish White Boyd. The first part is a virtual experience called Hidden in Plain Sight. The website will use archival pictures to build a 360 view of Roanoke sites at different points in history and even have a virtual reality experience. Now, the second part focuses on erecting a statue of Henrietta Lacks, a Roanoke native who played a vital part in medical history. We even stopped by her house today. Henrietta Lacks was born in Roanoke and provided an immortal cell line that is still used to create vaccines today. The site where she lived on Norfolk Avenue is one of five sites being digitally archived in a project that keeps black cultural history in Roanoke alive. While touring sites, Vice Mayor Trish White Boyd and the team even met a woman who grew up visiting that very house while it was still standing, when it hosted her family gatherings and cookouts. And she even said they had plenty of pictures, so I'm certainly going to meet with her. Photos like that are what make up the Hidden in Plain Sight virtual experience. David Waltenbaugh is developing the virtual experience that will allow website visitors to see places like Old Lick when it was a large burial site before it was partially destroyed by urban development. They basically show uh, the, the cemetery extending before the road cut it off. The website will also feature Dreamland Recreation Center where the Gainsborough YMCA now stands, the Berglund Center, built where homes used to be, and Henry Street. You know, you may not realize all of the, the activity, all of the hustle and bustle, the businesses that thrived in Henry Street, all of the big stars, Dizzy Gillespie and all of those guys that came to Toronto and lit and stayed at the Dumas Hotel. It, it is just amazing and we want people to know this history. The project will uncover hidden history in Roanoke and compare it to the site's presence today, like taking the home and impact of Henrietta Lacks and building a statue in her honor. And she was born here in Roanoke. Surely we can memorialize her. White Boyd says they're still fundraising the $160,000 for the statue and virtual project, but they're only about two-thirds of the way there. If you would like to donate to the Roanoke Hidden Histories Project, you can find the information in this story on our website, wfxrtv.com. Live in studio, Rian Lounds, WFXR News.